Welcome everyone to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania and gorgeous PNC Park. MLB the show as interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Los Angeles Angels going up against the Pittsburgh Pirates. And Joined now, by my partner Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. Pretty decent win streak on the line in this one, Chris. This team has been doing all the little things right now. Being able to hit in situations and hit with runners in scoring position. When you look over the course of a long season, if you're going to be successful, it's doing the little things right. So just about set now. And on the mound here today, Zach Gallen. Chris, That's he perfect. is a fun one Perfect. to watch do his thing out there. Well, he comes in carrying a career ERA under three. He's been fantastic ever since he broke into the big leagues. Can't wait to watch him pitch today. And the right-hander's 3-1. This to center field. Stevens under it. Brings it in for the third out. And the Angels are gone in order. And now the Pirates will get their first opportunity. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Man at first. Digging in, it's the, the speedy outfielder, Eric, Eric Stevens. 5-8 in the series, so he's been hot. Giolito moved to first. McLean back on a dive. Here's a fun fact on Lucas Giolito. He and his former high school teammate Max Fried both will take a scouting report the night before their start and then go through it by playing MLB The Show. Brings it in with a nice run and grab. And there's two down. Here's Chavis now. Here's a guy who's been struggling so far this year. It's only late April, but still hoping he'll turn it around soon. Here's a one-two. And that one in the air center field. Stevens makes the grab, and there's two gone. Batting seven, the shortstop, Adalberto Mondesi. One out, base is empty. Eric Stevens, the next pirate to hit. Over one so far. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports too. Smash to the left side. Tosses to first, now two out. Now batting. So now the angel cleanup hitter, Taylor Ward. Grounded out his first time up. The wind and the pitch. Out to center, Stevens under it. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Angels held in check. They trail it here, 3 nothing. Man at first, Michael Chavis, the, the next to hit for the Michael. Angels. He's 0 for Chavis. 1. Thompson gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Chavis drafted as a shortstop. That's out to center field. Stevens on the move. Nice grab on the run. And there's one down. One down. So in now for the Angels, JT Real Muto. He was a strikeout victim his first time. And that one lifted in the air center field. And there's two down. Now batting, designated hitter. Bottom of the inning at the plate for Pittsburgh, Eric Stevens. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. And a pitch. Hard hit left side. Fires to first on the run. One away, bottom of the sixth. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Eric Stevens. And still looking for that hit to keep this streak going. And this might be his last shot at it, Booth. Hey, get a good one up there, huh? Here we go one time like a big dog. <laughs> 
Get a good pitch right here. Here we go. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. One run is in. The throw in. Not in time. He's safe as they score a pair on the play. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. So the Angels turn to their bullpen for a new pitcher, number 59. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. Here's Bobby Dahlbeck. There's a swing and a miss. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, you know, maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Next offering is down low. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Tim Meza, a lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Senzel, the runner at third. Stevens at second with one away. Got it by him for the K. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an now individual performance you want to flush. He just Get hasn't there. looked very comfortable up there. Come just one of those there. days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Gets a piece and stays alive. Kicks and deals. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Two outs, two in scoring position. In the air, right side. He's got it, and that is out number three. Three runs, four hits, no errors, but two are left stranded. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Pirates six, and the Angels nothing. Jonathan Daza steps to the plate. Designated hitter, Jonathan Daza. Here's a 1-1. One, one. That one is absolutely belted. Stevens going back, back some more, back some more. And it bangs off the top of the wall. And into second easily with a two-out double. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall, but still an excellent swing of the bat. Well, just another big win today, and everyone is jumping on board behind this ball club. They're playing so well. They're packing the stands, and it's just an exciting brand of baseball. We'll see how far it goes, but right now, no one thinks it's going to end